A full year has now passed since the last update to Sprocket. Development of geometric internals has accumulated a larger than expected list of rewrites and new features. This leads us to today, where beta testing has resumed, showcasing everything that has been improved upon since last August. Today, I'm going to cover seven of the biggest features arriving with the geometric internals update. Let's get started. First up is Posable Crew Models, or in other words, Posable Jacobs. This is Jacob, or who you can call Jake for short. A significant upgrade from the blue stick figures seen before, crew can now be positioned in all sorts of unique ways, some of which can be a bit uncomfortable. Or worse. <coughs> a multitude of settings are available to adjust how each crew member is posed. Posture matters a lot when trying to fit crew into a vehicle, as collisions are based on a rough hitbox of their body lens, meaning that they can't be colliding with parts like the traverse motor or gun breech. As you may have noticed, the system for managing crew tasks has changed a bit too. Crew tasks are replacing efficiency modifiers by limiting how many tasks a person can do at once. Just like you, Jacob only has two arms and two legs. If you ask him to do everything at the same time, he'll simply refuse to do more than what he's capable of. Switching tasks will occur automatically with priority given based on user input, and it tends to take a couple seconds to switch between roles. Freeform editing has received a rather incredible list of improvements in geometric internals. The UI has been updated to be a bit more compact while providing additional tools to manipulate geometry. Most of these settings look a little familiar, but now there's a dedicated position tab with sliders that allow you to adjust the location of everything. Undo still works as well, fortunately, and the info tab is pretty much the same as before. New to this version is being able to select points and hold ALT to select a ring or control to select an entire face. Additionally, holes can now be created out of faces by selecting their points and you can repeatedly create holes to increase the resolution of it. Edge selection is now much cleaner than before with increased reliability pretty much everywhere. Similar to points, you can now hold ALT to select rings or CTRL to select faces. The face tool has also received some new features. Inverted faces are now a feature, as flipping a face upside down will just change which side thickness is displayed upon. On this side, you can see it being applied to this face, and once we invert it, it is now shown on the opposite side. Additionally, extrusion now works for more than just faces. You can extrude faces similar to before, but now you can also go and extrude edges and even individual points. This means it is now much easier to create faces and new geometry compared to before. Open tops are now significantly easier to accomplish. To turn a vehicle into an open top, simply select the roof faces and press the delete button to delete them. Now you have a fully exposed roof, perfect for allowing your crew to breathe in all sorts of dust and toxic fumes. Or let's just stick with fresh air. Open tops have the advantage of giving more space to position the crew at the cost of also making them more vulnerable to enemy fire. Open tops also allow for showcasing internal details such as ammo rack locations and visible armor thickness. Cannons have been upgraded as well. Compared to 0.127, cannons are now completely separate entities from mantlets. While cannons can be placed directly onto a turret, you won't be able to traverse the cannon without a mantlet. 
Installing a cannon requires first placing down the gun mantlet of your choice, currently there is only one choice, then place down the cannon on the center of it, then go to your internal view mode and position it into place. Gun breaches now have collision boxes for loading shells and the traverse limits, which can be manually set on the appropriate lane drive. Customizing shells has also seen a few changes. There are now reduced limits on the propellant length, and barrel segments are now classified based on whether they are fixed in place or recoiled when firing the gun. While we're here, it's a good time to talk about how custom mantlets are affected. Fortunately, they are not going anywhere. Custom mantlets are now easier to add to a vehicle since you can simply place the compartment directly onto the mantlet and modify it from there. This also works with stock parts and other components that can be placed onto a vehicle otherwise. Similarly, you can now also attach custom decorations directly onto the gun barrel. Custom muzzle brakes, barrel decor, and other novelties are no longer dependent on using the custom mantlet to move with the gun. Furthermore, they also move with the gun as it recoils so long as you place parts onto a minor or recoiled segment. Using compartments as the mantlet itself is also still possible, but it does come with the same issues that were present before. Last but not least, transmissions are now rescalable. Previously, transmissions scaled based on the input torque and the final gear. Now, this automatic rescaling is enabled by default, in which case disabling these settings will allow you to manually resize your transmission. Be warned though, as a smaller transmission will carry the risk of braking when under too much strain. Said another way, you can now accurately simulate a German transmission. Since the behavior of the powertrains themselves has not changed much, transmission calculators available for version 0.127 will work very well for geometric internals, at least for the time being. The Sprocket Tools powertrain calculator can generate an optimized powertrain setup from just a couple of properties about your tank, while even more advanced tools exist on the Discord side of the community. This includes my own Discord server, where I share updates on future videos and run competitions that later appear on this YouTube channel. Check the video description for the link to join. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.